Today's daily dose of math is using the y equals 8x plus b form for the equation of a straight line to find the slope and the y-intercept of that line. y equals ax plus b is very useful in more than one way, but one of the ways it's useful is if we get our equation written in this form, we can see that the numerical coefficient of x has to be our slope. And the constant term, the b, is our y-intercept. So in the first example, the equation is already written in that form, and we can just read off the slope and the y-intercept. The slope is 3. A equals 3. The y-intercept is negative 2. It's not only the 2, the sign goes with it. So the b, the y-intercept, is negative 2. In the second equation, I can't say that the slope is negative 4 and the y-intercept is 3, because my y is not isolated yet. But I can do some algebra to isolate it. In this case, all I have to do is divide everything in the equation by 2. These cancel. My y is now isolated on the left of the equals. And after simplifying, I have negative 2x plus 3 halves, or if I prefer decimals, plus 1.5. Therefore, now I can see my slope a is negative 2. And my y-intercept b is 1.5. Now we look at the third example, and we see that there's no x in the equation at all. When that happens, we can still do this. In order to isolate our y on the left of the equal sign, the first thing I'm going to do is move the 3y to the other side, where it becomes negative 3y. And then, combining similar terms, 5y minus 3y is 2y, I still have to isolate my y. I have to divide both of the terms in this equation by 2. These cancel. y is isolated, and it's equal to 3. Now, I can see my slope and my y-intercept if I wish with this form, but I can also rewrite this as y equals 0x plus 3, and even more easily see with the y equals ax plus b form that my slope is 0 and my y-intercept is 3. This is how we can use the y equals ax plus b form to find the slope and the y-intercept for a straight line. And that is today's daily dose of math. Please like, subscribe, and share.